very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so this week is really one tough uh, week for forex traders what happened last monday was similar to friday in the premium group i mean and of course uh, monday was very bad day for almost everyone because of what happened to the u.s oil that was a remarkable drop to minus 37 dollars per barrel and of course uh, i think now that the us dollar has gained more strength now it's above uh, eight dollars however what happened was unexpected and we have like two or three messages from other members in our group who are also in other signals providers group they are telling us that what happened to them is much worse than what happened in our group and they are also apologizing to their members so i just wanted to explain to you that this is really one tough week for everyone it's not only for us usually we are doing really so good days and thankfully yesterday was one of them yesterday we were able to cover it in almost uh, 90 pips of profit we can see uh, AUDGPY has hit in the take profit one with 20 pips the pound and ZD got that uh, 90 pips of profit uh, uh, in take profit level three and USDGPY will close it with 20 pips so uh, all in all we had a profit of 90 pips yesterday so it was really one good uh, day and hopefully we are going to continue this way so yeah i think we are now back on the track and the signals are doing fine again what happened was again guys not in our hand the market is really tough with all these news about the COVID 19 uh, the drop of the us oil the statements from mr trump a lot of things happening especially what's going on with the us right now so uh, i really hope it was uh, it will sorry i hope it will be a very good week and i really wish everyone will get a lot of profits so hopefully guys uh, we will see you there in the premium group if you wish to join uh, our premium group please don't hesitate to contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video hopefully we will see you there so let's go now to the midweek analysis as usual we will start with the euro usd now after what happened in the us oil i believe the dollar itself the us dollar is gaining a lot of strength and if we draw here a trend line on the euro usd we can notice that the euro usd is now continuing its bearish momentum and if we look at the left as well we can see that we had here a previous support level which was also previously a strong resistance this so uh, this was a key resistance level therefore let me just change it like that just to be fair as much as possible so now what i'm expecting as i said the us dollar itself is gaining strength and i believe the euro usd is gonna actually make one attempt here to hit this previous uh, resistance trend line which was also a strong resistance right here and from that point we can start shorting the euro usd definitely as i said the us dollar itself is getting more strength now after the rise of the us oil and therefore we can see that the pair is gonna continue falling and it's gonna continue falling until it hit this previous support level right here so the us dollar the euro usd is good for the short on the level let me just uh, make it here sell on the level 1.0892 so hopefully we're gonna get uh, some good profit out of this signal and we can keep the thread running let me just be safe make it safe for everyone and we can keep the thread running until it hit this previous support level right here so we can expect approximately 160 pips of profit hopefully we'll get them all so our take profit is gonna be 1 1.07243 so that was my forecast for the euro usd hopefully it's gonna be accurate and we're gonna make some good profit out of this trade so now let's check the pound usd now what we can see on the pound usd is very similar to what happened to the euro usd as i just said the us is the us dollar itself is gaining more strength now so we're expecting right now on the pound on the pound usd after this bearish breakout candle from this support level we are having as i said here a strong resistance and it was also a strong resistance right here so if we draw the channel of uh, the support trend line just like that or actually you know something just to make it more accurate we can make it like this as you can see uh, the pound usd is bouncing right now on this support trend line however it's gonna rise a little bit up here to hit this previous resistance and retest 
this broken support level and from that point I believe it's gonna be safe to start shorting the pound USD and the pound USD is gonna drop and actually that's gonna be very helpful because we, we can have um, a break out from the support trend line and if this happens the pair most likely is gonna continue falling all the way until it hit this previous support level so therefore just to make it short and make it a quick uh, signal we can start shorting the pound USD oh hold on one second uh, just to make it make let me just be sure guys I'm giving you the most accurate levels possible like that so we can start shorting sell the pound USD on the level 1.23728 23728 correct and we can keep the trade running all the way if this happens uh, let's just keep it until it hit this previous support level right here so we can expect approximately 247 pips of profit hopefully we're gonna get them all so take profit is gonna be 1.21273 really uh, hopefully it's gonna work out because as I said the US dollar is gaining strength and therefore the pound I don't see the pound rising at all at this point uh, most likely it's gonna continue the drop right after hitting this previous level of the, of the support let's take a look at the AUD USD now what we can see from the AUD USD as I said also um, is gonna also fall after the pullback we can look at the left we can see we're having right here a previous support level which was also a strong resistance in the past however uh, I believe from this bearish breakout candle we can see that this was a fake breakout and the pair is now reversing however I don't believe it's gonna continue rising at all uh, the pair most likely is gonna continue the fall right after hitting that previous resistance level right here so we can see that we are having here also a previous strong resistance and it was also a strong resistance right here now what we can notice something here the pair has tried to make several attempts to break out from this previous resistance however once it did that the pair made this strong drop um, below this resistance level now what's happening is we are the pair the AUD USD is reversing after hitting a support number one right now it's reversing on the support number two therefore we can expect from the AUD USD to continue the bounce here at the or to continue the pullback and after that the AUD, AUD USD is gonna continue the drop and if this happens we can see that we have completed a formation of head and shoulders therefore we can expect from the AUD USD after hitting this resistance to uh, fall therefore I'm gonna give the signal to start sell the AUD USD on the level 0 0.63231 and if this happens 132 pips of profit so we can look for the same let me just uh, change it yeah I will give the signal until the candle hit this previous support level so we can look for almost 130 pips of profit so the take profit for the AUD USD is gonna be 0 0.61921 so hopefully it's gonna be a good signal and it's gonna work out USD GPY now the USD GPY is gaining strength as I said because of the strength of the dollar therefore what we can see right here is that the pair has reversed from this support level several times and if we draw the trend line a support trend line we can see that the pair is indeed rising and I believe it's gonna continue this rise now what I'm suggesting because the USD GPY uh, we might lose a few tips if I give the signal to start buying right now my only hope actually that as uh, if we draw here also a resistance trend line like that we can see that the pair is not able to break out of it and therefore if the we have to wait actually to see what will gonna happen if the USD GPY is gonna reverse from this resistance trend line I just drawn here then it's gonna continue the fall right here and from that point it's gonna be good for the buy and if the pair actually immediately break out from this resistance trend line then it's gonna reverse on this previous support level it's, sorry is gonna reverse from this previous support level and then it's gonna make a retest for the level then from that point it's gonna be good to start buying the USD GPY 
so we are having two scenarios the first one if it's reverse we can start buying from this level the next uh, option or the next uh, scenario is the breakout from this resistance trend line and it's gonna reverse right on this previous support it's gonna retest the broken resistance trend line and then from that point we're gonna buy the pair either way we can start actually buying the USD GPY right on this previous resistance level actually actually guys I'm just looking right here and right here so I'm just trying to uh, draw the line in a perfect way that it can give you actually a better entry uh, for our chart let's go to the one hour chart that's better all right that's better yes that's more convenient so we can start buying the USD GPY on the level 107.539 either way if it's gonna be a, a reversal like that it is gonna hit the support level which was a support number one and we can start buying on support number two or the retest of the broken resistance line like that so it's gonna continue falling all the way it's gonna most likely hit the same level as well and then we can start buying the pair uh, personally I'm expecting from uh, the USD GPY to actually reverse and then we can start buying the pair uh, if, if that happens we are going to keep our trade running all the way until it hit this previous support level right here therefore I'm gonna give the take profit level to be a 108.1 sorry 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 193 hopefully it's gonna be also a good signal and we're going to make some good profit out of this now let's check the USD CAD as I said now the USD CAD also is rising and as we can see right here uh, the pair is still ranging on this resistance level like that we can see that the pair is still ranging on this resistance level but however uh, the, the USD CAD is gaining a lot of strength and therefore we can expect from the USD CAD to continue the growth just like that yes most likely it will continue this uh, grow if we draw here a channel like that we can see that the pair is ranging in this channel and I'm expecting personally that the pair is gonna rise all the way up until it hit, it hit this previous resistance level right here like that so what does that mean that means that we can start buying the USD CAD on the perfect level just like this right here as we can see we are having here a previous key support level which was also we can see that this uh, support has been respected on this level and it kept its position as a support number one most likely what will gonna happen that the pair is gonna reverse and create a support number two then from that point the US uh, the USD CAD is gonna rise all the way until it hit this previous resistance level therefore uh, we can give the signal to start buying the USD CAD sorry buy on the level 1.41591 and we can keep the thread running all the way until it hit the take profit uh, 1.4396 sorry guys I'm just uh, trying to give very quick signals because I want to post this video quickly since I, I'm seeing the opportunities are very close actually and by the by the time I upload this video to YouTube hopefully uh, everyone will be able to catch most of these setups so for the USDCHF as I'm telling you since the beginning of the video the US dollar is gaining strength therefore we're gonna go along with that uh, I believe if I'm not mistaken let me just uh, draw something here the resistance trend line as we can see the pair most likely has reversed from this resistance trend line as well and it was not able to break out of it not yet however not yet most likely if I draw also a support trend line here like that we can see the growth from the USD CHF I believe that the USD CHF after the failure of breakout from this resistance trend line like that we can see that the pair has made many attempts to break out of this resistance level however in the end I believe due to the strength of the US dollar uh, the pair is gonna break out of this level but however not right now it's gonna hit this previous support level from that support it's gonna be safe to start buying the pair 
not to mention also it was a strong support level let me just show you it was a strong support level right here as well exactly like that uh, let me just go back to the daily candles just to check something yes perfect look at that guys amazing i was looking for this one i swear i didn't see it before recording amazing so this is indeed confirming that this support level here is very strong level and th this is where we actually want to start buying the usd chf however uh, just to be safe i think i'm gonna rise a little bit my entry point just like that just to be sure we're not gonna miss this uh, good opportunity to start buying the usd chf so the buy f the for the usd chf is gonna be on 0 0.9 double six eight zero and we can expect from the pair to actually in the end eventually it's gonna break out from this resistance trend line and it's gonna continue rising all the way until it hit this previous resistance level right here however uh, just to be safe for everyone I'm gonna make it lower than the resistance I mean the take profit level is gonna be marked below this uh, resistance and this is my take profit level on 0.97721 so hopefully the USDCHF is gonna move based on that and we will also make really some good profits out of this uh, signal Le last thing let's check the gold uh, thankfully my signal for the gold has worked perfectly we can see that the pair indeed has reversed not only one time but twice after hitting this previous support level that was my entry for this level on the level 1674.91 and 247 pips have been made from this signal so now what's gonna happen next with the gold in my opinion the gold is gonna continue ranging for this week uh, because now it is stuck in the level between a strong resistance and a strong support level right here as I said before uh, the, the, the gold is now stuck in this level however I believe that eventually in the end the gold itself is gonna continue rising after making three attempts of this resist uh, support level however as I said it is ranging therefore uh, giving signal for the USD go the, for the gold is gonna be very risky and I really I'm thinking to not give any signal for the gold this week however of course we have to give signal therefore let me just uh, try to analyze the pair for a little time before uh, giving the signal let me just analyze it first and I'll be back to you guys in a few moments all right so just after several uh, analysis I did I think we can start buying again the gold as I said the reversal from this support trend line is very strong and therefore we can actually start let me just change the entry for the gold if you want to place another buy order to be exactly right here um, I would appreciate guys if you can draw this support trend line on the 4 hour chart in the very same way I did here in this video right now and mark your entry level to start buying the gold exactly if you see the candles actually hitting this support level on another attempt most likely what will gonna happen then that the gold is gonna continue the rise all the way to hit this previous resistance level and if you see any bearish breakout candle of the gold and if you see it actually closes below this support level if the candle of the bearish breakout candle has completely closed and just finished with the shape of a breakout candle then you can end the trade with the loss sadly however I don't think this is gonna happen to be honest the gold is gaining a lot of strength even checking the daily candles we can see a good price action indicating that the gold most likely if you want my honest opinion I think the gold is gonna continue rising right away I don't think it's gonna make another attempt however we can never place uh, sorry we can never place a buy order in the middle between a support and resistance that is just way too risky especially on the gold therefore I'm just gonna uh, try to be safe for everyone and then give the signal for the buy on the level 1675.86 oh okay I will fix it later however uh, the tech profit level is gonna be right on the resistance level at 1701.53 so hopefully we are gonna make some good profit out of the signal of the gold let me just fix my entry level here I think it's correct however yes that's 
yeah that's correct yes one six seven five it's all right i'm gonna fix it later anyway yes i need to upload this video very quickly so hopefully everyone will catch these signals and hopefully they are all gonna be in profit however guys please again i'm explaining to you the market is tough please have mercy on me if these signals didn't work i'm trying my best to ev to help everyone of course i don't want to give any false signal um, i have done my best to analyze the market this week and therefore hopefully it's gonna pay off and really i really wish to see uh, very good comments about uh, how the people have made profits out of my signals in the end i really hope this is gonna be a, a very profitable week for everyone and in the end i hope this one i hope this was uh, informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.